South Africa's roads are dominated by fuel-powered cars, but that has to change if the country is to achieve net carbon targets. Power utility ESCOM is leading the charge for the transition with the rollout of its own electric vehicle charging network. It's a project that has been in progress for the past year and a half. We initiated this project because in alignment with our just energy transition strategy, we would like to achieve net zero carbon emissions by 2050. And in the distribution division, we have a, we have a large fleet of vehicles. The pilot project includes the procurement of 20 electric vehicles and the installation of 10 charging stations at several ESCOM sites with plans to convert its entire fleet. We actually have more than 8,700 vehicles currently as an opportunity to electrify this fleet to ensure that we have a green fleet so that we can also add to the achievement of the net carbon zero in 2050. The state-of-the-art charging stations are imported from China by grid cars. In the scenario here at Eskom, we are the supplier for the equipment that they're doing on the proof of concept. Um, and then we're also a mobility operator, so we manage the billing systems and the pay how the payment systems work behind the charging. So collecting the money from the driver and paying it over to the site and managing those processes. Electric vehicle sales make up for a mere 1.5% of the market, but there has been steady growth since 2018, when just 58 cars were sold to almost 1,000 last year. We're starting to see a lot of the Chinese suppliers entering the South African market, you know, BYD, Cherry, um, and various, Saval, all of these have got Chinese origins. And that's really making a difference because you're bringing a, a quality product that's, that's better, better priced. Let's just say a lot better priced than some of the German um, products in the market. South Africa's EV charging network has grown to around 500 public charging stations. It lays the foundation for a future in e-mobility and slowly helps decarbonize the transport sector, one of the biggest culprits of greenhouse gas emissions. Jilishara, CGTN, Cape Town.